<gasps> speak. Are you awake? Come on, speak. Speak up! Come on, boy. Talk to me like you did in the wilds of Mexico. Oh, I can see it in your red-rimmed eyes. Speak. You're a righteous firebrand. Speak! We need a furry, moist Avenger like you on the team! Come on, man! Let's bark up the right tree together! Tick. Huh? Oh. Tick, you know he's never gonna come out if you just sit there traumatizing him day after day. He needs time to adjust to his new environment. But, Arthur, we need him on the team! A stalwart hound to bring up the rear and bark out the clarion call of justice! This is becoming one of those tick things again, isn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me? You know, one of those tick things. Yeah, yeah, where you get all excited about something and suddenly it's all you can think about and the next thing you know, you're way out of touch with reality. <laughs> yeah, Arthur, <laughs> what are you saying? You've already done it. Yeah, you've constructed one of your elaborate fantasy worlds around that poor animal. How do you know? You can't just peer into a person's mind and know their secret dreams. No? Well, let me just try, okay? Uh, all right, it starts with something ridiculous, like, um, oh, I don't know, the United Nations? Uh -huh. uh, bullseye! Uh-huh. And speak, the Uberhund is addressing the assembled delegates, hammering out a peace treaty between warring nations. Mm. Uncanny! To le monde, nous sommes les amis. Here, speak! Come on, boy! Er, uh, I beg your pardon, ladies and gentlemen, but I have to go. The tick needs me. What a dog! <laughs> help! Help! Good boy, Speak. I love you. Right on! Help! Help! Save me! Monster! Monster! Bad monster! <laughs> Looks like Arthur's got himself into trouble again. <laughs> you know it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh no! It's the tick and his incredible dog speak. <laughs> well, you're just like little Jack Horner. You've stuck your thumb into the Christmas pie of my brain and pulled out the plum of my innermost dreams. How do you do it? Well, you're not exactly a closed book, Tick. I mean, you've been haranguing speak about it all week. Uh, I've loosed my lips and sunk the ship of my own privacy. <laughs> oh! Speak! You can walk! <laughs> that begins the reign of Baron Violet! Baron Violet! <laughs> 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 Wow, that's tampering with U.S. mail. A federal offense. Okay, gang, let's, let's make, make a, a difference. difference! Mister, the civic-minded five will put an end to your shenanigans. <laughs> Whoa, a fight! <laughs> Come on, try me! <laughs> Carpeted men! By rubbing my carpeted feet over any surface, I can create a powerful charge of static elect- I'll give you some static, you deep pile rug rat! Static! Cling! Too strong! Can't move! Ha -ha. Let's get sticky! He He's got Captain Mucilage! <laughs> hmm, looks bad for the five. Dr. Food Food Foam Diet. It's time to drink down your first delicious diet shake of the day. 100% uh. mm -mm. synthetic with absolutely no nutritional value. Okay, Speak. To fetch, you've got to... You've got to move. Huh? What's that, boy? <laughs> oh, of course! Silly me. You've got to get the scent of the prey before the hunt begins. Alrighty, here you go. Mmm, fresh ball. Speak, the ball fears you. Listen to its cry. Smell its fear. No, fetch! Yes, 
After a week of nothing but Dr. Food's food foam, your body has begun dining on itself, eating away that unsightly fat, leaving a trim new you. <coughs> Hello? Hello, Tick. Four-legged man here. We're downtown battling a maniac, and, um, the maniac's ahead by three. <coughs> Whoops. Make that four. Could you lend us a hand? Roger. We'll be right down. Great! Great! Uh, gotta go! Arthur, speak into the fray! I'm very disappointed in you! Here I am, new to this town, looking for a little violence, and this is the fight that I get? You wilted like lilies, and I'm only on six! Enjoy your victory while you can, Violent. The tick is on his way, and he's stronger than all of us put together. That is correct! He is, I've seen him, he's big. Really? Good! Then I'll go up to seven! <laughs> the bigger I am, the harder they fall! <laughs> the scene of the crime to your first taste of villain breed. Now there's a man who's in touch with his rage. <laughs> All right, mister, knock everything over. That'll be just about enough of that. Says who? Says the tick and his incredible dog speak. Who at last a worthy opponent? Are you guys okay? We're fine, lad. Arthur, get his belt. It's the source of his strength. Oh, great. <laughs> Now speak. In crime fighting, it's crucial to keep your eye on the criminal. They're a tricky, vicious lot. Oh. Yeah. Case in point. <laughs> speak! <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> I'm harmless. Just, just Arthur. <laughs> I'm fluttering around. <laughs> Whoa! Come on, fight like a man! Thank you, I'd rather not. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> <laughs> That's mine! Give it back! No. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh... Oh, no. He looks terrible. Tick, that's the way he always looks. No, but but his his eyes are all gooey, and he's moist all over. He's always moist. Yeah, but look at his fur. He's unraveling like a cheap sweater. I've got to get him to the vet. Tick, I've been telling you that for a week. <sighs> okay, Tick, you take him to Dr. Sniff. I'll help the Civic-Minded Five, and we'll meet back at home, okay? Emergency, emergency, emergency! <laughs> Bad man hit dog with straight. I need two thugs. I've got money. We are two thugs. How do I know you're any good? <laughs> you're good. Oh, you're good. Uh, okay, now here's what I need.
Carmelita? Hola. What are you doing tonight? Tick, about speak. Yes? I've got some good news and some bad news. No! I'll do anything, Duck. Money is no object. Does he need my kidneys? No, no, speak's fine. Except for a little eczema, some worms in the mange. Then what's the bad news? What's wrong with my dog? Tick, that's just it. You don't have a dog. I don't? You've got a Hydrochorus Hydrochorus. Huh? Capybara, Tick. Speak is a rodent. Ooh. But he's one of the world's largest. All right. Go, Speak! Arthur, that diet of yours is amazing. I just can't get over how different you look. Yeah, I know. And I gotta tell you, Carmelita, I feel great. And from now on, everything's gonna be different. What are you talking about? Hey, bunny boy. I think you're wearing something that doesn't belong to you. Oh, okay, this is great. Now, you see, this is a perfect example. I'm in a restaurant, minding my own business, right, and a couple of thugs start picking on me. Now, what would the old Arthur do in a situation like this? Oh, Arthur, I don't think... No, 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 really, seriously, and, and be honest now. Well, I guess he'd, he'd cringe and, uh, I don't know, scream something like, not in the face, not in the face? Exactly! Uh, and then I guess they'd beat him up. Yeah, right, right. Uh, okay, now here's where the new Arthur is different. Yeah. Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! Really? again. I'll rearrange it for you. Got it? Yes. Then get! Faster! <laughs> I love it! Tropical parasites, your carefree infestation ends here. Tonight, you swim in ointments of righteous hygiene. Flee before the might of modern medicine. Might slice and chiggers, your days are numbered. Yes, in this house, cleanliness is next to dugliness. Oh, <gasps> speak. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh. Of course, you're not a dog. You're a wonderful, lovable rodent. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, if that's your lifestyle choice, then we'll stand behind you all the way. Tick, I need your help. Carmelita, guess what? Speak's not a dog at all. He's the world's biggest rat. Uh, I don't know about that. Have you seen Arthur lately? Hey! Pretentious little French guy. <coughs> oui. Uh, bring me more of that, um, oh, meat. Oh, hey, that looks good. Let me try some of that. Oh, thank heaven, Monsieur Latik. Please, your friend Arthur does not see me himself tonight. Really? He good. Arthur. Well, well, if it isn't the tick. Arthur, what in the world? Hey, you're wearing that violent guy's belt. You got a problem with that, Tick? Indeed I do, mister. That belt is a fashion accessory of evil, and evil is never in fashion. You're just jealous. Come on, chum, just hand over the belt. Arthur, please, listen to the Tick. No, 
All right, then. I'll just... Oh, yeah. I see how the system works. Well, I'll tell you something. I am through being your sidekick. I'm through being your pudgy comic relief. Arthur, stop it. You know I'm my own comic relief. Now, <coughs> come on, man. Okay. You asked for it. Whoa. Uh, gentlemen, please, could you take it outside? Sure. I'll take it outside. <laughs> come on, Carmelita. Let's hit the town. <laughs> Haven't you hit enough stuff tonight? <laughs> Superheroes. <laughs> okay, buddy. I'm taking off the kid gloves and putting on the very mad gloves. Come on, come on. I don't know what you've done with the real Arthur, but you're a great big jerk. Well, you see, babe, that's the problem with having friends. They never let you grow as a person. Arthur, please, your brain is drowning in muscle. Give me the belt. You want a piece of me? Well, take your best shot. I never thought I'd be saying this to you, but Spoon! Spoon this! Ah! Arthur, you've got to make yourself smaller. Your ears won't hold you. Turn up the belt. Can't reach it. Too many muscles. No! Get off of me. I must thank you for your kindness. Most of the heroes, when they have their brawls, they just leave a mess. Happy to do it, Prim King of Waiters. Yes, and I have to just say again, I am really, really sorry. Tick, Carmelita, I'm sorry. Oh, Arthur, we're just happy to have the real you back. Yes, chum, but let your journey into hugeness teach us all a lesson. Absolute power is a sticky wicket. And Arthur, chum, you were the stickiest. Don't you get it, good friend? Some of the best things come in small packages, but large things can't. Unless they're inflatable or require some assembly, or unless they're hearts. Yes, giant, juicy, loving hearts. Big as the moon, but much, much warmer. Right, speak? <laughs> Hey gang, Tammy Fig writes, Dear Tick, why do trees only grow upwards? And what can we do to help save the trees? Why, trees grow in all kinds of ways, Tammy. Up is just the one we notice most. Their roots grow downwards into rich earth, and their branches grow sideways to, to mingle. Now, what can Tammy Fig do to help save the trees? Well, number one, stop writing letters. They're made of trees.